So tell me a little bit about the quarantine procedures that you guys do at Wenvo. So when it comes to quarantine, one of the first things we always do is a lot of prep work before the fish are on site right. with us. So we make sure there are systems in place where there are no other fish currently sitting in. Yeah. We'll make sure that all the water is ready for them to arrive on, make sure salt is up to about uh, 0.45 as a part per trillion. Right. And the KH is sitting about sort of 10 to 12 right, on, the, okay. on the cage scale. So once all they're ready to go in, we'll turn all the heaters on, making sure they're or see for when they're going outside into the quarantine area. It'll be about 16 degrees. We're inside. You know, we, we have already up to 24. Right. Um, they'll come and arrive to us. We'll spend various amount of time yeah, uh, sure. acclimating them to the systems. Mm. Obviously, then there'll be eight weeks where they're completely unable to be seen by the public, yeah. um, where we will go through the process of heat ramping them, right. popping that up. Obviously any treatments that go in over that period will mm. also do that as well. So you do heat ramp? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How yeah, yeah. many cycles you do? So over the eight week period, we'll probably go for two cycles. Two cycles, yeah, yeah. that's the common. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, in that way. Anywhere you go, anywhere you go, give it Steve again. Now, before we do this, yes. I've got some questions for you. Okay. Are you ready? No. <laughs> <laughs> we, we got you famous from the last of the questions. Yes, didn't yes. Could you tell me, I'm a fly fisherman. Yep. Could you tell me what a brown trout that swims out to the seas and whales and return up the river, what is the Welsh name for it? Oh, a suey? Suwin. Suwin. Yeah, we'll give you a half a grade there point for that there as well. Then, set up when buying new fish you know it's definitely a good practice to have and, and if somebody like for many years I couldn't have one if they don't have one or didn't have one what would you advise then so best way to eat is, is keeping a very close eye on them yeah as I said not everyone can have a, a quarantine pond yeah. uh, we obviously treat throughout you know the weeks and months yeah. during the pond season to make sure the fish are clean yeah but obviously through the stress of the move it is a lot of yeah. Uh, stress they can go through during that time. Right. So it is within those first two weeks of fish going into the pond, just keep yeah. a very close eye on it. Yeah. Obviously, we're at the end of the phone, we have social media get in touch with us yeah. if you show any signs of mm. any abnormalities. Yeah. But luckily to say, it's it's not often that happens. Right. And then one of the things I would do when I had my own, we didn't have a quarantine, is I'll keep my fish purchasing to one or two local dealers. Yes. Uh, I didn't really buy from other people just because you don't know what you're bringing in 
I think that's one of the things COVID taught us is quarantine. Yes. It yeah. should should transfer over to fish keeping, would yeah, you say so? It, as you say, it's not necessarily just koi that is fish keeping all yes. around because mm. fish can come from various different sources yeah. and there's not necessarily healthy fish, unhealthy fish, but fish from just different areas yes. can be carrying various different things. So by going to a local dealer that you have faith in yeah. and getting fish directly from them, can be a, a huge benefit to the, the health of the establishment yeah. of Tank or Pond. So we've got a koi club here today and um, we're going to be bowling some fish, a yes. little bit different to what we did before. I've got some questions for you. Uh, do you know where Tom Jones is from? I do now, he's <laughs> definitely from Wales. <laughs> okay. Just tell us a little bit about these, uh, just come down closer so I can get you on the camera speaker over here. So, uh, so we've got some uh, you know, very nice uh, pattern mogul on there. Yeah. Which, uh, whenever someone asks me the question, what's the difference between uh, Japanese fish and an English red fish, I always look at the Yogons as the uh, go to. Right, yeah. Purely, uh, you know, when you see an English red Yogon, they often tend to be an off white, yeah, not yeah. quite. This has a lot of bling to it, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, we're looking at this one. You know, how, can, how can you not like it? It is a yeah. pristine, green, really white. Obviously, the uh, gin ring is, is on point. The fupa ring is lovely. One. Yeah. And uh, if people don't know what a fupa ring is, it's that what they, some might call webbing, but the fupa ring. And one of the things we look for in showing koi is that it's even from the head because sometimes it can be uneven all the way across yeah, yeah. And, this, and that's where the price difference between a cheap koi and a show winning koi comes with and it's often the fukurin that's on the itself yeah. what sort of i mean today you got an offer on 15 percent off but what sort of price the, the, is the uh old one is normally like 395 right okay Steve, while they, uh, while the boys are figuring out which one they want, <laughs> tell me a little bit about this uh, show, this Tanto Showa. Oh, we had a, a few Tanto Showa in last year, right? And uh, this was probably originally about seven nine nine fish, right? Um, so this year we've actually got it down for three nine five. Okay. So, uh, only you know, just trying to find them for his forever home. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah, the, the cross gear, the uh, from, from Connie. Yeah. Well, he's well known for his gosh keys. Yeah. And some nice little things. And these are this year. So side, there's a nice three step there. Um, but lots of time for gosh yeah. If you want a project to grow on from toy, then also looking down the inside the pond, there's a number of other fish you can pick from. This was just a random scoop. So there will be better fish to select if you come and spend some time uh, on this itself. Come on! Yay! Koi! Yes! <laughs> to put this on. We so tell us what everybody got who came today. Well, luckily we've got some fantastic suppliers who were able to support us. So today our goodie bag consists of some 
pose off arm pond yeah, gloves. They're very um, useful. Absolutely. A testing kit for the Pro Scan from JBL. Very useful as well. A pot of the stable and all season pond food. Right, yeah. As well as a pond manual from JBL. Oops, oops, yeah, that's fine. So, uh, cool. never will be seen one of those today. Very, very generous of Winville uh, Maidenheads to do that for us. Thank and you. there's a few bags here. Everybody's enjoying the grub over yes. there. Uh, we, we are, we're, we're working hard Absolutely. while they're enjoying the food. I think I should <laughs> be cleaning up behind them. <laughs> this is all part of the raffle for today. Support the British Red Cross Ukraine appeal. So this will all be part of it included today. We can draw this in a minute so everyone could see what else is on.